So guys, Game Titles here, and I'm here with Rockman B, and he's a 2D ninja, so pretty much he plays a lot of Naruto Axel 2 or Ultimate Ninja 5, if you don't know what Axel 2 is, and Heroes 3, Axel 3, pretty, stuff like that. So Rockman, tell us about your movement. Well, um, the 2D ninja's movement, for people that haven't been following, I guess I'm going to say it like that, because for the people that have been following, they know what it is, but for the people that are probably, you know, on your subs that we're trying to bring in it's a movement to try to get the naruto mech series to go back to the 2d games i mean you have the storm games out now which no one can deny they look amazing i mean it's almost like playing an anime but at the same time you don't get the same feeling of satisfaction from actually playing the game at least in my opinion um a lot of people like it a lot of people do play it but as i said before in my other podcast this is not about bashing them or telling cyber connect to not make 3d it just would be cool to have you know 2d as an alternative i mean you look at games like street fighter you have you know the regular core street fighter series but then you also have the versus series for people who like games like that so i mean 2d ninjas is what it is it's all about the 2d games making a comeback and all we really want to do is just give people a choice that's all we're saying all right so what were all the components that you were that you guys put into 2d ninjas oh man this this was a long time coming like there's a guy always referenced named azure sky on twitter and he was the one that kind of gave me i guess he lit the fire under me to go you know what maybe you can't make a difference but maybe you can and really at the end of the day what i've likened it to is if this thing goes wrong and not goes wrong but nothing comes of it we can't say that we didn't try so first of all the first component i went into it was the desire the the passion to want to actually do this because it's funny you you get scared off from doing stuff like this even though there's nothing to be afraid of you still tend to kind of feel like well i don't want to do this i don't want to fail so first component that went into it for me was just the will to do it I mean, outside of that, there's a whole lot of talented people that helped me get this going. We got uh, Albert Rosa, who is our uh, web guy, got the site set up for me, taught me how to use WordPress so we can actually get things going on that end. Also, for anybody in the community that remembers, he's the guy that created the NA2 seal machine. What the NA2 seal machine was, when you hit an OG in NA2, buttons come up, you got to press them, whoever presses the right sequence at the right time, you know, they win the, the OG struggle. We call them seals, you know, after the anime when they do hand seals. And he created something called the seal machine, which is a program that you put on your computer, you hook up your uh, PS2 through a USB converter, and it randomizes buttons in the same order and the same style as they do in NA2, and you could practice the seal. So, talented guy, we had him on our side. Uh, he did our web. I had a guy named um, Alan Camuto. He works with me at my job. He works in the publications department. I would run into him. It's funny. I knew him from work. He was a cool dude. You know, I had no problems with him. I mean, he was a nice guy. But I noticed every other year, I would he's a photographer, and I would run into him at Comic-Con. And it just dawned on me, as weird as it sounds, about the third time I saw him to go, wow, you must be really into this stuff. I guess before I thought of just photography. But he's also into uh, Photoshop. So he's the guy I tapped to get the box art going us trying to figure out how we wanted to do the box took a lot longer than you might think it may not be really evident when you look at it now but if you hold the na4 box art now up and look at the na1 box art we basically tried to emulate the same style the big gnarl toe in the middle the four main uh antagonists at the top and just this the new characters all over the sides and if you look closely at it probably not because i said it you'll notice it but if you didn't you wouldn't but regardless, it looks amazing, you know, on its own. I had uh, X-Rated, who is part of X-Clan, you know, for the uh, 2D Ninjas community. He did the screenshots on the back with a really awesome altered, uh, uh, I can't remember his name, Bancho Naruto? Yeah, Bancho Naruto. He edited him into Sage Naruto. So he looks really amazing. Just, again, it's on the site, 2D Ninjas.com. Take a look at the back of the box, the front of the box. Those are the guys, you know, that did the box art. And I cannot give enough props and enough love to Forte, who's like, he's my brother in all of this. And he, 
went out of his way to make this amazing eight minute video called don't turn your back which is basically us taking you know telling cc2 don't turn your back on what's brought you this far and there's a lot of cool little foreshadowing in the video people don't probably wouldn't notice they're just looking at it but i mean one of the biggest things is the very last scene with the sakura sai and naruto making it so rochimaru's hideout to confront sasuke if you don't realize it that's supposed to be us that's us the 2d ninjas the fan the fans and sasuke is cc2 and we're coming to him and we're we're trying to get him back because we want 2d ninjas back so uh to answer your question which was kind of a really long answer those are all the components that went into getting this thing going so Wow, so you put put a lot of work into it. Yeah, man, I mean, my heart, my soul, like everything. I don't care how cliche or corny it sounds, this is important to me, man. So, what do you think of CC2 releasing an HD collection of the Ultimate Ninja series? Um, I think it would be a step in the right direction. A lot of people probably would be upset. Oh, we want Storm 4, I mean, um, NA4, XL4, we don't want this. But really... I feel like anytime a company does anything that like that, it's more often than not testing the waters in a sense. Uh, would you rather have the traditional like 2D sketch looking models that they always had in the past or like still keeping the 2D aspect but have like 3D models like how they look in Storm? Uh, it's just it's tricky because the Storm models look amazing. There's no getting around that. They look beautiful. But honestly for me, if I, if I, okay. There's, there's two answers to this question. One answer is, what are they going to do? And as far as what they're going to do, they're going to use models that they have in-house. They're not going to go out of their way. So, honestly, if it was, you know, them making new 2D models or using the Storm 3D models, i take the Storm 3D models. They look amazing. But what I would want, personally, is hand-drawn cells, like kind of like a Guilty Gear look. A Guilty Gear Blaze Blue kind of HD. You know, that kind of a look because that looks as much as an anime like the storm game as much as the storm games do if not more because they're actually you know drawn 2d but to answer your question and not throw in my own answer yeah i'd, I'd take the the 3d models also more so to elaborate on it the reason they looked like sketch characters especially in nh1 and nh2 is because those games were actually based on the manga and not on the anime what if, uh, I know this was controversial with Axel 3, like when they brought Axel 3 to the PSP, PSP mm -hmm. instead of bringing it on the PS2. Mm -hmm. How would you feel if instead of they putting it on the PS3 and stuff like that, they just brought it to the PS Vita? I only have one problem with it being on PS Vita. And most people will probably go, wow, because he's such a boost of NA3. And I am. It took me months. I took months out of my life to hack that game to make it at least a little bit playable with uh, three guidance. And I think it's an awesome thing. People don't realize you can do stuff like use the shock dash as a roman cancel to cover yourself when you, you know you whiff an attack. You have to have this crazy, you know, three-way game going on because everybody knows no NA and NH is a game of twos. There's two life bars, as we like to say. That's a big saying in the community. There's two life bars. It's not just your life bar. Your shaka bar is also your life bar. You run out of that, you get infinite. So now you have those two, and your awakening that you have to worry about because you only get one per game, even though it totally refers to shaka. But I'm going off on a tangent because I'm a big <laughs> NA3 booster. But to answer your question, all that being said, as much as I love NA3, I would have to say I really don't want the game to be on PS Vita, and that's for one reason and one reason only. PS Vita does not have a TV out function. And reading things from when the PS Vita came out and just Sony in general at press releases, they said there's no plans to add a TV out. So automatically, that makes tournaments really hard for us. I mean, it's great in the fact that everyone can quote unquote bring their own system and we can get them done faster, but then we can't unload matches. You guys can't see, we can't stream matches, we can't make how-to videos without using a camera, and that just looks ridiculous. So, if it was up to me, I would not want it on PS Vita. For the simple reason of, no TV out. You need a TV. Can you see another 2D Ninja game two, three years from now? I'm hoping one year from now, <laughs> but <laughs> that's, just, that's just me being super optimistic and hoping that they get tired of having all these boxes sent to their office and getting you know, crowded with 2D Ninja guys. 
Yeah, man. I wish you the best of luck. Thanks. Well, thank you. Thanks for giving me the opportunity to interview you, man. Go check out his channel, Rockman B. I'll put the uh, link in the description. K Rockman KB. Rockman KB? KB with a K. Oh, my bad. All right, Rockman <laughs> KB. <laughs> and make, uh, make sure you guys uh, tweet this to CC2 if you guys enjoy the 2D series like, like I did and like he did so our voices could be heard. Let's go. The higher the demand, the better chance we get for a 2D series to come back, so... Yeah, www.2dninjas.com. Come on, people, we need you. 2dninjas.com, guys. Thanks for watching. Sign up. Later.